tree falls in the forest and no one hears it fall, did it ever really make a sound? If a poet composes a poem in his mind and no one ever hears it, was it ever really a poem? This one has been rattling around in my mind for three or four months and I liked it more before then than I do now, but it would be a shame for it to go away. And it is slipping, I can feel it. The uh, category zone thing is not working so well, so without, let's just make this thing real, people. My poem is Call Me Tree. <laughs> Well, hello there. You look interesting, calm, cool, collected, someone I would like to meet. Where are you from? Where are you going? Who are you going to be? Well, as for me, you can call me Tree. Yeah, you can call me Tree, and I know at first you may not believe, but if you've got a minute, or maybe three, just sit back and receive the story of how I formed my new identity. You see, one day while casually reading poetry, a few inspirational words I did read, written by some dude from the 19th century, and basically he asked me to re-examine all the pieces that made up me, dismiss those pieces which I no longer needed, and I found this idea rather interesting, so I laid out all the pieces of my personality for all to see. There was good and bad and some really ugly. There was honesty and integrity. There was anger and addiction and anxiety, depression and jealousy. And man, I used to be a thief. I began to see so many of my beliefs had been created when I was 17 and I began to see I had become a man that I I no longer wanted to be. And so, and so I decided I needed to start cleaning and I, I quickly found out something rather interesting about me. All those pieces, those bad habits and false beliefs of which I knew I should not keep, I, I could not let go. I could not let go as if my bad habits and false beliefs had calcified to my soul. They had become my very bones, the structure of everything I had ever known. To get rid of them was to get rid of me. Sometimes you can stand there scrubbing indefinitely, but no matter how hard you clean, you ain't never going to get that stain out. <laughs> when suddenly it dawned on me, I didn't have to stand there cleaning indefinitely. I could just create a new category. And I did, and I named him Tree. And he got to keep all the pieces he wanted to keep. The honesty and integrity the chivalry and influential energy. Yeah, all my musicality came with me. All that other bullshit, I could just leave it, just let it be. And from time to time, I find my mind wandering back into the old me, old habits and beliefs. More and more I find I'm the new me. I'm becoming tree. More and more I can see, yeah. I can see, I can see, I can be the man I want to be. I believe, I believe I can be the man I want to be, yeah. Unafraid, unafraid, I can see my divinity. Unafraid, I can be my divinity. You can call me tree. Yeah, you can call me tree. <laughs> <laughs>